Okay, so something really funny has just happened and it actually sparked a lot of thought in my mind. So I thought I'm gonna have to vlog about it. In fact, I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these like spur of the moment vlogs. So subscribe to the YouTube channel, Melody H channel. Okay, so I've been really busy today, um, meetings, loads of things to do, and I realized I haven't eaten lunch, dinner. I go to McDonald's and I get my food on a tray and I see this girl, similar age to me, she looked like a lovely, nice girl, sitting by herself. And I thought, I bet I'm gonna go sit with her, like, learn something new, meet someone new, and, you know, better than me sitting by myself for 10 minutes or whatever. So, I get my tray and I go up to the table, and I'm like, hey, you know, you're sitting by yourself. She says, she says, yeah. I said, oh, can I join you? And she's like, yeah, cool. You know, I sit down, I'm like, okay, cool, you know, this is great. And I'm like, she's reading the news on her phone, right? And I say to her, um, oh, so you've been to work today? And she goes, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is not, not that kind of person then. And I was like, oh my God, she's probably had a really busy day at work. And the last thing she needs is like a lunatic sitting opposite her asking her questions. And then, um, so I'm thinking, okay, well, I can't say... I'm just gonna go and sit over here now. So if I'm anything, I'm persistent. So I'm like, so what's your what's your name? And she says her name, but she doesn't ask mine. And I'm thinking, oh my god, okay. So pick up the signs, Melody. She's not really into talking. And um, anyway, so like a couple of minutes go by, and I say to her because I just thought, well, this is really awkward, isn't it? So I just kind of thought, just be honest. So I said, is this really weird that I'm talking to you? She, she goes it is a bit yeah and I, was, and I was like oh my god how embarrassing um anyway and then we kind of we kind of got chatting after that and she was like oh you know she's got this really great place that she knows close to where we live here and you know lots of things and you know she then we had a bit of a chat she turns out she's a teacher and obviously inspiring age works with young people so kind of relevant but she was very clearly kind of not chatty you know she was just kind of very much like I'm only gonna answer the bare minimum here it was super awkward but it just kind of made me think that you know actually because we're moving towards a much more networked world not just in business but socially as well a lot more collaborative world and also the world is smaller than it used to be you know there's a lot more kind of connections happening I think we just kind of need to open our minds to meeting different kinds of people being able to speak to strangers I think there's so much to learn and a lot of my life has actually been enriched by these um, unexpected moments that I've met someone I was in uh, Dubai once and um, and I said this to the girl actually in McDonald's I said to her uh, you know when she said oh this is a bit weird I thought I said to her like you know I'm sorry like I have traveled so much for work that I've gotten used to talking to strangers and eating with strangers and she just kind of went Okay. <laughs> you know so uh, you know but I remember being in Dubai once and I, I was there on business which is why you know a lot of the times you are alone is when you're somewhere on business because you're you know by yourself and uh, I got my food similar sort of situation and I see a lady sitting by herself she was in her like early 60s and similar situation I went over and I said hey you know uh, can I sit with you and she was so pleased she said yes absolutely sat down we ended up having a three hour, four hour conversation that evening. She had been an entrepreneur, her business had failed, she was starting afresh, she had been married and divorced, they had two daughters, she was finding herself again, thinking about who she was, um, she lived in the US, she ended up being Persian, I'm Persian, so we, it was so fascinating talking to her and I learned so much and after our meal we went and got dessert. It was very, very interesting and I met some incredible people on a train. I mean, I've met some, if I could just, my best friend and my bridesmaid at my wedding and her name is Eva, like I tweet about her Facebook, she's my best friend. I met her on a train, I met some really interesting people just unexpectedly and sometimes people start talking to me they're like hey you know you're having a good day where are you going and I talk to them back I ask them about their story they ask about my story and 
have really really interesting conversations um i once met a businessman on a train and had such and i learned so much from him he ended up mentoring me for um you know half a year following that encounter it was and this was like when i was uh 16 or something um really really interesting um you know in terms of like the kinds of very interesting people that you can meet in the spur of the moment and i think that there's something to okay so it's, listen i'm not saying can go up to people in McDonald's and start having a random chat and like that's just me like that is that is perhaps a little bit strange it is bless her like you know she's probably just wanted to have a quiet meal after a stressful day at work so you know fair play to the girl like but I think that it, it there is something to the fact that we should be open and we'll be surprised with the kind of people we can meet and what we can learn because the people we meet randomly in spur of the moment in unexpected places are not necessarily people who we would have met anyway. I was once uh, waiting for um, a plane to catch in Los Angeles on a transit for work and I met this wonderful couple uh, who were on their anniversary and they were telling me about how they met and it just and asked them questions like, what do you think is the key to happiness? They were like in their 70s. And I was asking them, you know, what do you think is the key to happiness? And what have you learned? And it's just so interesting to be inquisitive, to ask questions, to take an interest in people. If you're not in the business of caring about people, if you're not interested in people, then it becomes a very lonely, sad world to live in, I think. And I think particularly as a social entrepreneur, you know, like, I'm interested in people, you know, that's what we do. It's a kind of business I'm in. So I just kind of, although I'm not advocating that you go up to people like, having said that, if you see me at a McDonald's, if you see me out and about, say, hey, what's up? Because I'm more than happy to have a chat with you, you know? So I think, that, I think there's something to be said about that. And I think also, like moving away from this McDonald's like example, I think it's very important to not look at people like they're weird. Don't look at people and go, Ugh, like, you know, and turn your head to the person next to you and go, oh my God, like, how weird is that? Like, ganging up on people. It's not nice. It's just not nice. Don't do that. Allow people to be who they are. Don't stifle people's creativity. Don't stifle their charisma. Just kind of smile and take an interest in people. Um, so I think there's a really important lesson there. Anyway, I could spend all day talking to you about, I've met some crazy interesting people on it. I was once on a train and this lady was sitting next to me. This is this is really random now, but let me tell you this story real quick. Um lady sitting next to me and her phone rings. She picks up the phone and she's like, hey, you know, how you doing? Yes, darling, I love you. See you soon. I'm gonna be there at such a time. She puts the phone down, turns to me and says, that was my husband. He's gonna come pick me up at the station. And I look at her and I say, oh, okay, cool. Nice, you know, good for you. And then she says, but you know, um, I've just been away for a weekend with my lover. Yeah, like I'm having an affair, like, you know, yeah. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> like, I can't believe she's telling me I've never spoken to you before in my life. Like we're on a train, crazy. But instead of looking at her like she was crazy, I was just dead intrigued. I was like, so where does your husband think you are? You know, like, what doesn't he know? Like, how are you doing this? And she was like, yeah, like, you know, my husband's lovely, like, he's a lawyer, but... And this was years ago, by the way, so I'm not... I really don't think that her husband's going to hear this. But it was just so interesting to me. And if people talk to me, I take an interest in what they're saying. And I think that so much of my life, if I wrote a book one day, some of the chapters in the book and areas of my life where areas of my life where I've been influenced in my way of thinking or my life has been enriched, it's been by people who have been mere strangers to me to begin with. And I think a lot can be gained from keeping an open mind, taking an interest in people's stories, and who knows that their stories might enrich yours. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay connected.